what's happening around us, but let's get busy with the King itself. Amen? So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this morning. Lord, thank you for the privilege that we can come, that we can worship freely, Lord, in your throne, in your presence. And God, we commit to you this time. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. And all God's people will say, Amen.
thank you, Jesus, that we are called to be your sons and daughters, that we can enter in your gates with thanksgiving in our hearts. Savior gave his life in silence for the cross, in silence for the cross. Who knew this man of sorrow would make our hearts whole?
weakness, God. We are, big, we are victorious, God, over all our fears, over all our anxiety, God. Lord, we receive your healing. Those in darkness brought to light, word fulfilled, Jesus Christ, God our Savior. Natin, ano? We're declaring by His stripes we are healed. And most of us would always cry out to the Lord and say, Lord, by Your stripes we are healed. And when we look into that, into that specific phrase, it refers to the punishment of Jesus Christ. It, it refers to His suffering. It refers to His uh, beating. It refers to what Jesus has faced when he's about to die. By his agonizing death on the cross, Jesus took upon himself all the sins of the people who believe Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Alam niyo po, what's amazing, when you read the Bible, you would see Jesus perform miracle upon miracle upon miracle. And people were just chasing after him. If you read Matthew 8, the whole chapter of Matthew 8, you would see the performing miracle of Jesus Christ. First, there was the leper. Tinanong ni Jesus Christ, anong gusto mo? Make me heal. And Jesus touched the leper and the leprosy disappeared. And then soon, what happened? There was the centurion who approached Christ. And this is what amazing about that story is that the centurion says, Lord, I am not worthy or you're not worthy to enter my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. And Jesus was astonished by the centurion's faith. If we go back to the scripture again, Peter in 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, it also speaks about God's healing, the wounds, the stripes that we are declaring. I'll be reading in the Amplified Version, and it says, He personally carried our sins in His body on the cross, willingly offering Himself on it as on an altar of sacrifice, so that we might die to sin and becoming immune from the penalty and the power of sin and live for righteousness. And this is what Peter is now saying. By his wounds, you who believe have been healed. Friends, if you look at the Greek uh, language, I'm not an expert, but if you look at it, the term stripes would refer to physical or spiritual healing. But what 1 Peter is now saying, or, or the Apostle Peter is now saying, it is clearly referring not to a physical healing, but to a, a spiritual healing. Friends, a lot of us might need spiritual healing rather than physical healing. Because Jesus said, that he himself, or Peter says, that he himself bore our sins in his body on the tree so that we might die to sin and live for righteousness. Friends, we're declaring, Lord, heal me, heal me, heal me. But probably we're missing the most and the greatest things that needs healing. And that is our spiritual life. How can we get that healing from Christ by accepting Him as our personal Lord and Savior. We're crying, Lord, by Your stripes we're healed. Jesus done that on the cross 2,000 years ago. And all we have to do is accept that free gift of salvation. And the Lord is willing to help you 
with every affliction, every problem that you're first, uh, f- facing right now. Friends, it's so easy for us to go to a doctor, but how come it's so hard for us to come to Christ? Who is not just the author and perfecter of our faith, but He's the one who created us. Amen? So as we declare, Lord, and as we look at this month, Lord, we're, we're happy. But let's focus on the very reason why Christ came to earth. Not to give us something na, oy, o nga no. Ito pala kailangan ko. More than that, Jesus came here to give us eternal life. Let's pray. Father, we come before you right now. Lord, probably, yes, we are declaring, yes, we are, we are claiming healing. Lord, more than just the physical healing that we are asking and crying before you right now. Lord, we're also asking and crying, by your stripes, our spiritual life will be healed. Father, in the name of your Son, Jesus, we declare, if we are not yet uh, spiritually healed right now, we ask that we will declare and we will come before you and boldly ask you, I need healing. And Father, we declare, God, that as we do that, let your healing hands be upon each and every one of us. Whether it's a family restoration, whether it's something that, that seems to be, Lord, hindi, ma, hindi na maayos to. But God, nothing is impossible. Because we know, Lord, that once you touch those wounds, healing will come. And Father, we thank you for the privilege that we can come before you and we can really pray and declare, Lord, you are good. And more than anything that we see around us, Lord, your presence is more enough, far more enough. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Victory. This is our 9 a.m. service. And for those of you joining online, welcome po. Uh, siguro, pag tinitignan nyo, itong katabi nyo, hindi nyo pakakilala. This is the time dapat kilala niyo yung katabi nyo. So before you take your seat, I want you to greet the person beside you. And syempre, kilala niyo siya. God bless you. palakpakan naman natin si Lord. Last Sunday po, no, yung mga young adults natin or yung mga young professionals natin had the opportunity to gather, meet together, had fellowship. And we would like to thank those who participated, joined yung Coffee G natin. Pero alam nyo po, no, uh, more than the beginning, I hope and I pray na magpatuloy po yung, yung naumpisahan ng bawat isa. And excited din po ako dahil kasi, alam nyo, no, hindi lang po nagtatapos yan sa isang event. This will continue and as we con- uh, always say that discipleship is relationship, ganun po ang mangyayari sa atin that we will build relationship sa bawat isa po. And uh, when we build that community, we know that we're also building our community. Malay mo, paglabas mo, makita mo siya, uy, kakilala kita, tago church ka, meron kang kakilala sa ibang lugar. Pag pumunta ka ng Mars, malay mo, nandun, or to the moon. And 
For those of you who are saying, uh, meron pa ba? Yes, we will be uh, continuing uh, this event and I hope and I pray na this will also be an avenue for everyone who can share their life together. And I hope na as we do that, no, we will journey together, not just as friends, but someone who is more far better than a brother. All right? So again, for those of you young adults, young professionals, I hope na next activity natin, magkita-kita tayong muli sa susunod na gathering natin. And next uh, announcement po natin, malapit na po, 13 days na lang ang ating anniversary conference, yung follow. Yan! Sino po dito nakapag, ano na? Grabe, alive na alive yung mga tao. Yan. Woo! Sino po naman nakapag-register na? Yan. Kung nakapag-register na po kayo, eh pwede nyo na pong kunin sa admin booth after the service yung ating, ano ba tawag doon? Lanyard? Lanyard yun, no? Ha? Ayun. Wrist tags. Oh, pwede start sa, eh, di ba? Tama-tama. Kunin nyo na po yung wrist tags nyo after the service and ito po yung gagamitin natin sa conference natin as a conference pass. Please do keep it and wear it on the day of those uh, on the on the day of the event. And for those who are not yet registered, you can do also sa ating admin booth after the service. Now, uh, if you are watching online at hindi ka pa nakaka-register, wag po kayong mag-alala. You can join us and you can register by using the QR code. Again, uh, Kung sino sa inyo dito, mahilig mag-TikTok, wag po kayong mag-alala. Meron po tayong TikTok page. Yan. Yung TikTok page natin, for this very special uh, event, eh, meron po tayong mga update dito. Just search Victory Mekawayan and follow us on TikTok. Malay nyo, kayo na yung susunod na superstar. Hindi natin alam. Alright, and lastly, our follow merchandise are still available. You can purchase, pur purchase it sa ating mga merchandising booth. after the service, and for those online, you can also order and pay using QR code on your screen. And we are so excited on how faithful God is, 10 years of His faithfulness, and we are going to celebrate this not because of what happened, but because of what God is doing in and through our church. All right? And lastly, uh, for our, our, our announcement before we go to our tithes and offering, eh mamayang for, uh, 6 p.m. po, yung dapat bayan open. Ayan, open pa. Patlak pa. Christmas party. So, we would like to invite you, magkita-kita po tayo dito sa hall, 6 p.m. tonight po yan. Alright? So, as we transition to our generous giving and tithes and offering, let me just read James 1. Verse 17, it says, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Now, alam nyo po, no? There are a lot of things that this world will offer us. And minsan, pag nagigipit tayo, alam mo yun, dun tayo pumupunta dahil kasi alam natin eh. Alam natin na merong solution dun. But the Lord is now saying, Hey, as a father to you, I am faithful. As a father to you, probably your timetable is not my timetable. What the Lord is now teaching us to rely on Him and on Him alone. Let me tell you, God will not be, will not be someone who will never listen to your prayers, but God is always listening to us. But the question here is this. It's a heart check. Whom are you going to trust in your situation? Is it yung mga kilala natin? Or is it God who knows what's best for us? Sabi nga dito sa scripture na to, He is not like a shifting sand or shifting, uh, yung, yung tinatawag natin, nagsishift siya from one attitude to another. But the Lord is faithful. And that also includes our finances. So as we go back and look at God's faithfulness for the past how many years, we would like to also ask God, Lord, thank you for your faithfulness. Because up to this point, eto kumakain pa rin kami. Meron pa rin kami bubong sa bahay namin. At yung mga anak ko, nandun, natapadala namin sa school. And that is what the Lord is saying. Trust in Him because He's the source and He's the ultimate source of everything. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You so much for this time. 
Thank you, Lord, for the privilege. Thank you for the opportunity that you have given us. Lord, not just to give, but be, Lord, a channel of blessing. Father, right now, in the name of your son, Jesus, I pray that as we hold on to you, we will always put our hope in you. Not on the things that's temporary, but on the things that are eternal. And Father, we give you all the glory and all the honor. Bless your people in Jesus' name. Amen. If you have prayer requests, please do write down your prayer requests on the envelopes and we will pray for you. And for those of you joining online, please do also comment on our Facebook page or on our website and we will be praying for you. God bless you. Have a blessed Sunday. Welcome to our 9 a.m. service. Um, sino dito, you're, uh, you're happy you're here, worshiping God. Palapakan naman natin si Lord. Ayan. Kaninang umaga, may nag-chat po sa akin. Sabi po niya, Pastor, ba't sobrang lamig po sa center? Sabi ko, saan ba kami pupunta? Pagka mainit, nagre-reklamo kayo. Pag malamig, nagre-reklamo kayo. So, uh, gawa na po yung ating, ah, hindi pala gawa, bumili tayo ng limang aircon. Ayan. Ayan. Bil- bilangin nyo. Gusto nyo... Dating pa ng sampu pa, ayan. And uh, we're, we're thankful kay Lord. Actually, dalawa lang yung binuksan natin, no? kasi malamig. But um, uh, thank you for being here. Um, we had a great sambang gabi last Thursday. Sino dito? Nandito kayo? Sambang gabi, ayan. Uh, Pastor Dennis preached a, a, a wonderful, wonderful message about gratitude. No? And, and these are the pictures. We had fun. Feeling nga namin parang Christmas Eve service na Nung sambang gabi. And uh, may kakanin, may free coffee. Ayan, from Cafe Haraya. Ayan, promote natin yung Cafe Haraya. And we we worship together. Okay, we pray together as one family. Uh, nung sambang gabi. And we really had a great time. The, the place was so filled. Punong-puno po talaga tayo. May mga nakasabit pa dun sa bintana. Kasi talagang wala, wala nang maupuan. And if you missed it, no, sayang naman, di ako nakapunta, uh, hindi ako na-inform. Don't worry, we have a lot of things happening this Christmas, okay? Uh, meron tayong dalawang service na mangyayari to celebrate Christmas together. That is our Christmas Eve service on December 24 and our Christmas Day service, December 25. Now, what? maybe you're asking, bakit po dalawa pa? Well, we want to serve you better. 
Okay, ganito lang yan, no, mga kapatid. We want you to pick at least one. Okay, if you want, want to attend both, yes, do that. Pero, ang naisip namin, gusto natin, unang-una, mag-worship tayo kay Lord. I mean, yes, mahalaga yung family uh, traditions, mahalaga yung Noche Buena, mahalaga yung Christmas giving, maybe go out with your family. I don't know what, what you want to do, but first and foremost, we have to worship God. Kasi, hindi mo naman birthday. Kanina ba, sino may birthday sa 25? Si Jesus, hindi mo naman birthday. Okay, so, punta tayo dito. Even you guys watching online, punta tayo dito. Ngayon, I understand, we understand there's a lot of family reunions also happening. So, pick one. Either, bago kayo mag Noche Buena, attend kayo ng Christmas Eve service, dalin mo yung family mo, like what I've said last week, alright? This is the perfect opportunity for them to experience church. Okay, we have a neighbor Okay, uh, you will remember Lolo Johnny, we will invite him on the 24th. Buong taon ko yun kinasa, buong taon ko yun in-engage, sana makapunta siya. O before, before mag Buena, punta ng Christmas Eve service. Or, or, after all, everything that you have done ng Christmas Day, nag Buena kayo, pumunta kayo sa mall, nanood kayong sine, whatever, and then, meron pa rin pong 5pm service Christmas Day. Si- Sunday po yan, yung Christmas Day service. Again, if you're watching online and, and everything, ngayon pa lang mag-usap na kayo. Kami ni Carmen, we're planning to have lunch with uh, with his side of the family ng December 25, then bring them here on the 5 a.m. So, something like that. So, again, mag-usap na kayo and, and uh, mag-plano tayo. We want to celebrate Christmas together with our family here at Victory Make Hawaiian. So again, December 24, Christmas Eve service, and December 25, Christmas Day service. Speaking with that, we're gonna jump start our series for the next four, four weeks. And we call the series Unwrapping the Present. And of course, we have a lot, we're expecting a lot of presents, gifts, this uh, Christmas, But the most important present of them all, okay, ang pinaka-importanteng regalo natin ngayong Pasko ay alam na natin kung sino, si Jesus. And for the next four weeks, we want to answer this question. Who is Jesus? And you're probably wondering, uh, saying, ah, this is so basic naman, Pastor. This is so basic. Of course, kilala namin si Jesus. But, I would tell you, it's it's... something that we have to learn again, over and over again. Lalo na tong generation, the TikTok generation that's coming or is ready here, who's getting influenced by Western um, worldviews. Yung idea nila, kung sino si Jesus ay naapektuhan kung anong nababasa nila sa social media. And tayo mismo as parents, as tito, as kuya, and ate, ikaw mismo, alamin mo na kung sino ba si Jesus. Talaga, para maipasa natin sa kanila. And also, for the next generation, for them to know who Jesus is. There was a survey that happened in New York uh, City. Okay, I went there. This, I hope. New York, Cubao. Okay, and nag-interview sila, tinanong nila this question, who is Jesus? And again, the question seems so basic and yet they got all the answers wrong. Pa- panoorin natin tong video to. Historical figure? I don't know. I think he was just a person. I don't know. Just a normal person like us? He was a selfless person. I have no clue. He was a man. I think he was marketing genius because he got people to believe him. I don't I don't think he's the son of God. I don't don't believe that at all. If David Copperfield was in the day of Jesus, he would be Jesus. I'm pretty sure he existed. Like, I'm not gonna say that he didn't exist. He was God's son, but so was Gandhi, and so was Muhammad, and so was, you know, we're all God's children. Jesus is someone I pray to. Well, Jesus is my Lord and Savior, um, and 
he to me is the like symbol of just ultimate forgiveness and ultimate love. He's sort of that like constant figure in my life. Jesus is also Isa in Arabic and he was a messenger as well. He was just extremely enlightened like religiously and morally. He was somebody that um, just tried to um, impart wisdom on others and um, make the world a better place. I think he saw something that a lot of people didn't see and still don't see in others. And I, I think that's just a lot of love and, and hope. Jesus sort of seemed like an ominous uh, figure. You know, he just, he, he was God and it was hard to relate to him. But I think as I've grown in my faith a lot, I've really started to see Jesus as my closest friend. If you watch the video, I think only one of them got the answer right. Isa lang. Yung isa sabi, yeah, tao lang siya, isa sabi, oh, God sent siya, but so is Muhammad, and so is Gandhi. And, and yung isa naman, he's a marketing genius because uh, he made us believe in him. And the, the reason why this series is very important is that it has eternal consequences. Kung paano mo nakikita si Jesus, is it has eternal consequences. Pwedeng mali yung idea mo about the end times. And it doesn't affect your salvation. Pwedeng mali yung idea mo of, of, of uh, the, the, the Holy Spirit, for example. And it doesn't affect your salvation. But how do you see Jesus affects greatly, not just your present, but your eternity. So kailangan nating pag-usapan to for the next four weeks. And there is no better book to talk about who Jesus is but the book of John. Okay, so open yun na yung uh, Bibles yun in the book of John, chapter 1. Si John ay one of his uh, the inner circle. Right? Peter, James, and John. Meron siyang 12 disciples and yet, for some reason, lagi niyang particular talks to these three, Peter, James, and John. There's a lot of one-on-one um, -on -one conversations in the Bible na si John yung nagsulat. Which I actually... Naiipapaisip ako kung paano nangyari. Halimbawa, Jesus talking to Nicodemus, John chapter 3. Di ba? Pero naisulat ni John. Ibig sabihin, siya ang unang-unang marites. Or ang, ta ang, ang Tagalog, ang, mga, ang lalaking version pala ng marites ay tolits. Siya ang unang-unang tolits. Bakit tolits? Tol, ito ang latest. Oh, di ba yung say, mare, ito ang latest. Siya ang una -una. Lucky siya, yung uh, John chapter 21, the conversation with Peter, Si Peter lang tsaka si, si Jesus and yet alam niya yung pinag-usapan. Napaka, napaka marites mo, John. And he, he talked about that. He knew Jesus. Okay? He was depicted as an eagle sa mga painting because um, an eagle can look directly at the sun and not be blinded. And that is John. Okay? He knew Jesus probably the closest and in, in fact, he coined himself termed himself the disciple that Jesus loves. Okay? Medyo mayabang ka doon, pre. Pero maybe, okay, maybe. Doon sa four Gospels po, uh, yung Matthew focuses on what Jesus said. Maraming uh, sayings, maraming teachings, maraming verbatim quotes about Jesus. Si Luke or Mark, what he did. Maaksyon ang Gospel of Mark. Maaksyon. Um, laging may immediately. Laging... Um, at, the, at, at, at the perfect time, uh, right away, yan, ganyan yung mga words ng Mark. Si Luke naman, how he felt, focusing on Jesus' um, emotion. Pero si John, kaya nga, nandyan siya lagi, si John, who he is. Who he is. So for the next four weeks, titingnan natin, sino ba si Jesus? Four things that we will talk about this month. Number one, He is the Logos. Number two, He is the Lamb of God. Number three, He is the Messiah, the Son of Man. And number four, He is the Messiah. Again, you probably say, ay, ako na, basic to, I'll skip this series. No, you have to, we have to look back at what the Bible says about Jesus. Okay, and today, we will look thing Logos. First, uh, sorry, John chapter 1, 1 to 3. Tayo tayo, basahin natin to together. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. 
He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. God bless the reading of His Word. Please take your seats. So first thing, we want to unpack, actually there's a lot in these 18 verses. I will really try my best to not go over time, although that happens almost every week, no? Pasensya na. Because there's a lot. Dapat isang buong series tong chapter 1 to 18, ah, verses 1 to 18. There's a lot. Nahirapan po talaga akong paigsiin. There's a lot. There's a lot talaga sa John chapter 1, verse 1 to 18. First of all, He is the Logos. What is the Logos? Logos is a Greek word. And the Greeks were wondering, they understand, alam mo, mga matatalinong tao yung Greeks, eh, they understand the world, they observe the world. And they, uh, they, they, they realized, understood that the world in which we live in has a level of design. May design, it would seem, or at least a predictable pattern. The light begins in the morning, ends in the evening. There are rotations and orbits of planets. There are seasons, there are length of days that you can after a while observe and predict. Ibig sabihin, na, na, naisip ng, 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 ng Greeks, nothing is random in this world. There's like a specific hour where the, 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 the sun goes up, the sun goes down. There's like a particular time na merong winter, merong summer, fall, and all you have to do is call. Ay, parang napansin nila ng mga ganon. And napansin nila na ah, at yung mga stars nag-change ng position after a while. And, and they observed that and they asked the question, What is the reason for this, the order, the symmetry, the, the, the timing, perfectness of the universe? Do you understand? So they observe it. Bakit ganun? May measurement, may order, may symmetry. It seems very perfect. So the question that they're asking is, what's the reason for the order of the universe? And for thousands of years, they are asking that question. Now, bigla nilang nabasa, imagine you are the one of the, the, the people in the time of, of Jesus. And then biglang binas, nabasa mo yung John chapter 1. Remember, they're asking, what's the reason? What's the logos of the universe? What's, who is the order, the... the, the perfecter, the making sure the symmet- that the world is in symmetry, in perfect union, and all of this. And then you've read John chapter 1. At tapos sabi ni John, in the beginning was the Logos, and the Logos was with God, and the Logos was God. So, boom! It really blew their mind. Wow! So you're saying that this Jesus who we saw crucified, who we saw na balitaan namin is a criminal, is the reason. And you're saying he's not just a man, but he's God himself. Sabi doon, He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was nothing made that was made. Look at this. He was in the beginning with God. Things were made through Him. And again, parents, Gen Z, millennials, you have to understand this to the core. Ni tayo pwedeng malito that Jesus is just a creator. Or a creation. No. John chapter 1 clearly says, and, and, and if you, you look at this, no, alam nyo yung Matthew, Mark, and Luke. May mga genealogy yan. Diba? And, and, and they will always go back to a certain point. John did not just go back to Abraham. Did not just go back to Adam. John went back all the way from Genesis. 
Kaya nga ginaya niya yung ginaya niya yung language in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 in the beginning. Saying that Jesus Christ, the one that we worship here every Sunday, my friends, it's not just a creation, not just a creature, but the creator. I hope you understand that. Kasi someone will say to you, but natin we don't worship si Jesus? Eh, ginawa lang din naman siya. Di ba, anak lang siya ni Mary? No, no, no. You said no, 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 no. We'll talk about that in uh, week three, right? Son of man. We'll, t- we'll talk about that. O, anong ibig sabihin ng tao siya and yet Diyos siya? We'll talk about that. Pag-usapan natin yun. But right now, I'm talking about Jesus is in the beginning. Actually, not just, is, not just in the beginning. Pakinggan nyo to, ha? Pakinggan nyo to. Jesus is not just in the beginning, He is the beginning. Paano ko nasabi? Ayun o, all things were made through Him. Hindi lang siya kasama nung ginawa yung mundo, sa pamamagitan niya, nagawa ang mundo. All things was made without Him was not anything made that was made. Sabi ng Colossians, For by Him, all things were created in heaven or on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities. All things were created through Him and for Him. I love this verse. This is one of my favorite verses. All things ay ginawa sa papamang, pamamagitan niya. Tama ba yung mga Tagalog ko? Sa pamamagitan niya. O oh, tama ba? Through. Uh, dahil sa Kanya? Hindi. Dahil sa Kanya. For Him. Para sa Kanya. Sa pamamagitan niya, nagmula sa Kanya, or through dumaan sa Kanya, at para sa Kanya. So, tingin mo, eh, tingin mo yung katabi mo, sabihin mo, para, para ka pala kay Lord. And again, this seems so basic, and yet we forget about it. We let TikTok. Alam niyo kung ba't ako nag-TikTok? It's because some Um, some student I'm, I'm ministering to said, said, told me, and I was saying something about the gospel and said, hindi po ganyan yung napakinggan ko sa TikTok. Pero loko-loko tong TikTok na to ah. Pasukin ko nga to. People would rather believe that there's a big bang and there's inflation that happened. The protons form, nuclear fusion begins. nuclear fusions and after 380,000 years neutral hydrogen form after 13.8 billion years the universe came to be people would rather believe that than in a creator that made everything Sabi ni Bertrand Russell, man is the product of causes which had no provision of the end they were achieving. His origin, his growth, his hopes and fears, his love and beliefs are but the outcomes of accidental collocations of atoms. No fire, no heroism, no intensity or through and feeling can preserve an individual life beyond the grave. Simplify, sinasabi ni Bertrand Russell, magagalit si Atenet dito, Yung pagmamahal ni Pastor Dennis kay Atenet ay nagbanggaan lang daw yung mga atoms sa loob ni Pastor Dennis at hindi yun yung decision niya kaya, kaya niya minahal si Atenet. Alam na alam kong hindi totoo yun. Kasi mas mahal niya Atenet si Pastor Dennis. <laughs> And this guy is being... heralded as a genius in the world. Tayong mga nagsispeak about the Bible will say, you guys are stupid. You're believing in this higher higher power that you don't even see. You would rather believe in a scientific explanation. Si William Piley, 1700s, um, philosopher, sabi niya, kung makakakita ka ng watch, And you see how complicated the watch is. Pag binuksan mo yung watch, how intrinsic and how um, beautiful it's made. Ito yung kanyang conclusion. Sabi niya, 
all these interlocking parts didn't just come together by chance. They were obviously put together by a designer for a specific purpose, to help people till the time. If I would tell you na itong watch ko, uh, ano yan, um, nagbanggaan yung tricycle, tsaka yung um, pusa, nagkabanggaan, tapos lumabas tong watch na to. What would you tell me? Hindi na kayo atin dito. Our pastor is stupid. Our pastor uh, medyo bubing. But people would rather believe that nagkabanggaan and, and, and our universe, everything that you see beautiful in this world, the flowers, the trees, the seas, the oceans, the mountains, you were just made through a random chance. Sabi naman ni Thomas Aquinas, some things are caused. Anything that has caused, anything that's caused has to be caused by something else. Since nothing causes itself, there can be an infinite regress of causes. So there must have been a first causer itself, uncaused. That is God. Ibig sabihin, kung, kung yung domino, you will love to do this at home. Eh. Kung magpo-fall tong lahat ng domino to, imposible hindi magpo-fall yung unang domino, something or someone would have caused it. The, the, the causation. Either tinulak mo or na, na hipa ng hangin or lumindol or what. No, it cannot be na zero tapos biglang everything just came about. So I already gave you two proof proofs that God exists. Yung watchmaker analogy ni William Paley at yung argument of causation ni Thomas Aquinas. So I hope bao natin yon. when we talk to people saying God is not real. Sabi ng Willstar Institute, no, ito mga scientists na to, based on an understanding of the laws of chemistry and physics and what we know about randomness, mathematical randomness, there is no way that the complexity of life could just come about. The report goes on to say, for randomness to be responsible for life is a mathematical impossibility. It cannot be. So there is indeed a creator that created everything, the Alpha and the Omega, and His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. Thank God deserves a praise for that. Palapakan natin si Lord. That is why if you believe it's the Logos, again, the Greeks, why, who is the source of this order, this symmetry, the law of nature, who is? is Jesus. Therefore, kung alam mo yon, application sa buhay mo, eh, siya yung author ng lahat. Kaya nga po napakaganda nung theme natin for our anniversary conference, if hindi ka pa nag-register, mag-register ka na, follow Jesus. Kasi pag maintindihan mo, sa pala yung logos at lahat ng mundo ay nakasalalay sa kapangyarihan niya at kaya may order yung mundo ay dahil sa kanya, eh bakit yung buhay mo ay mong ipapigay sa kanya? Eh yun nga mga planeta na ayos niya para hindi magbanggaan. Therefore, author siya ng buhay mo. At siya yung tanongin natin about our questions in life. Why are we asking the people about gender? Why are we asking the people about abortion? Why are we asking people about family? Why are we asking people about money? Why are we asking people about relationships? Why is our value change? It's changing because of what people are saying. Bakit dati you believe if, if this is it how to be? Pero ngayon, since someone said that, ay, oo nga, no, may point siya. Siguro okay naman na hindi na magpakasal. Siguro okay naman na non-binary. He is the author. Let's ask him if you believe him is the Logos. Jesus is the author. 
And I hope, again, you know, we're not gonna be here at church to say some other things. Hindi natin babalutin, babaguhin yung value natin. Or our truth. Because we believe in this. This Logos gives life and light. And in Him was life, and the life was the light of men. Jesus did not just give us bios nung nagkaroon ng creation, but also suke. Hindi suka. Yun yung mangyayari pagka masyadong dumami inom mo ng Pasko. Suka. Suke. This is where we got the word psychology. The emotions, wills, mind, and emotion. Di ba? Sobrang daming emotion dalawang beses. Pakidelete na lang mamaya. No? Emotions, will, and mind. Anong ibig sabihin ng suke? Yung plant, magagalit yung mga plantita dito, yung black plant may bios, pero walang suke. Okay, kaya yung, yung, mga, yung mga vegan ay yung mga kontra-vegan. Sabi nila, sabi nila, nagagalit kayo na kinakain natin yung animals, eh kinakain nyo naman yung plant. Sabi nilang ganun. Eh may buhay din yun. Oo, pero wala naman silang will. Wala silang mind and emotion. They understand. So God, this Logos, did not just give you bios. Hindi ka lang humihinga, meron kang emosyon. Okay. Taas nga dito ng kamay yung may emosyon. Ay, yung pastor, yung katabi ko po walang emosyon. Binasted po ako tatlong ulit. Tapos wala siyang pakialam sa akin. Ayan. Emotions, will, mind, purpose, suke. Pero hindi lang yon. God, Logos, our Logos also gave you Zoe. Life to the full. Also, because of this life, light, ah, sorry, life, it gives you light. Diba pag may nagbe-birthday, laging merong um, candle, because one candle um, means life. Nadagdagan yung buhay niya. So pag binigyan ka ng, ke- ng um, ke- cake ngayong birthday mo, tapos walang Walang, uh, walang kandila, wag mong tanggapin. Baka, baka hindi ka na umabot next year. Kasi one, one candle equals one life. Okay, yung iba sa inyo, mga 90 na yung candle no, next uh, birthday nyo. Okay lang yon Pwede naman yung 90 na number. Okay, because light signifies life. ba diba? Have you ever wondered why pagkagabi, even you will, I tell you will, okay, you go around and play, but you go home before it's night time, before it gets dark. Umuwi ka na bago dumilim. Bakit? Because evil is always associated with darkness. Tama ba? Oh, eto, example. Meron ba kayong napanood na horror film na umaga nangyari? Meron ba? Yung taas ng araw, nasa beach, tapos dun lalabas nyo. Wala, di ba? Laging matilim. I don't know, laging masuka, laging nasa kakahuyan, laging ganyan. Laging doon sa ano, may kuba na, na magbubukas ng pinto. Laging ganon. Okay? So, lagi yon Laging madilim. And, nawawala ang darkness when light comes in. Right? Because light separates darkness. And that is exactly the very first thing that God created. Genesis chapter 1, verse 3. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. And God saw the light was good. And God separated light from the darkness. Bakit natin kailangan yung logos na to? Because we live in a very dark place, dark world. And we need the light from this logos. The origin, the source, the reason of everything to shed light. So that it will separate darkness. So anong ginagawa ng light? Number one, it separates darkness. Number two, it also exposes or illuminates. Iba pagka uwi ka ng bahay, bawa, nag-trip kayo, tapos, pag uwi mo ng bahay, madilim, may maamoy ka, mabaho. Ano yan? Mabaho. Paamo lang pala, di ba? Hindi, pag binuksan mo yung ilaw, ah, may patay na daga. Okay, ganun din sa, sa amin, laging nagpupupo yung mga pusa sa, 
kung saan-saan. So, pag uwi pa lang namin, eh, baho, ano yun? Di ba? Uh, Tapos ginanon mo, no? Ay, pupu, buti hindi ko natapakan. Di ba? So, yung iba hindi na makakapag-lunch. No? Sorry, sorry. Nai-illuminate niya. Nakikita mo what's wrong. Ah, okay, yun pala. So, we need this light. We need the, His light from the Logos. Okay, the Word. So that it will expose illuminate things in our life. Kasi, kung i-match mo yung buhay mo sa unbeliever, eh baka hindi mo makita what's wrong. Because you are using a different kind of light. But expose yourself to the logos. And it will it really expose what's wrong with you. What's wrong with us. Ah, okay. Diba? La- last Uh, last series, pinag-usapan natin yung money, three, three weeks, nakita natin, aba, greedy pala ako. Aba, hindi ko pala ginagamit yung pera ko for, for eternal purposes. Aba, hindi pala ako generous. Na-expose. When you think nothing's wrong and then it takes the, the Word of God exposes it, now you know something's wrong. Okay, number three, it gives hope. This light, the logos, gives light. gives hope to us. This is very real in their time. Nung time nila, there are so many oppressors, pinagpapalit-palitan lang sila ng kung sino man yung sasakap sa kanila. Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, Greeks, and Romans. Okay? Uh, they, were, they were under a tyrant, Herod the Great. They experienced infanticide. Pinapatay lahat ng baby sa sobrang insecure ni Herod. Okay, sabi niya, ah, papanganak na pala yung susunod na king. O sige, para, para sure, patain lahat ng bata two years and below. So they experience that. Imagine mo, you're one of the parents. You're one of the mothers na namatay yung anak mo because of King Herod. They're heavily taxed, 70%. So tayo nagreklamo pa sa tax natin. Okay, pero sila, 70%. yung kanilang tax. They live in an atmosphere of social discontent and upheaval. And when they feel like there's nothing, there's no more hope. Wala nang hope, wala nang pag-asa. Naalala nila yung prophecy ni Isaiah. Sabi doon, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness of them has light shone. So imagine... You were reading John. You were looking for the logos, the reason, the order. You were waiting for the light. And then you suddenly read, in, uh, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was God. In Him, there was life, and this life is the light of men. Wow! So ito na iniintay natin. Ito na iniintay natin pag-asa. At tayo din, ano? Uh, uh, um, maybe you were in so much trouble, so much distress. We are thanking God for finally. Okay, excited. Alam nyo, ulitin ko lang, no? i-invite ko kayo ulit sa Christmas Eve service at Christmas Day service. Kasi this is finally, finally the year na I think COVID is really, 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 really gone. Amen ba yun? And I think we have to celebrate For that, eh, optional na nga may mask. Yung iba ayaw pang tanggalin. Mas okay po, mas okay na lang po hindi ko tanggalin yung mask ko. Okay po. Ngayon lang. I remember, 2020, nagkaroon tayo ng Christmas Eve service. We were so hopeful. We don't know what's gonna happen. Right? We don't know... Hindi natin alam talaga. Pero you were hopeful. And look at, look at where we are right now. Yes, we've lost some friends. Yes, there are businesses that, 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 that have gone down. Yes, there are some changes to our life. But thank God, we're still here. And I think God should be celebrated and worshipped with that. So again, wala 24 and 25, we will celebrate God together. Because indeed, He is the light. Amen? He's the light. I remember the, the, the Magi. 
two years, they were traveling and waiting and looking for the Messiah. Whenever they feel tired or discouraged, they will see the light, the star. And that would push them to go on and on. Pari, ano bang ginagawa? Ba't ba natin ito ginagawa? <laughs> Dalawang taon na tayo naglalakbay. Wala pa tayong ways. Alam mo anong ways nila? Yung star. Yun ang unang-unang GPS. Yung star. And whenever they see the star, there's hope. Guys, this Christmas, hindi po si Sharon Cuneta ang megastar. At hindi si Nora Honor ang superstar. Hindi ko na alam. I don't know these people. Kinimento lang sa akin ng mga magulang ko. Um, ang naabutan ko na po, Bea Alonso. Sino ba yung mga ba? Hindi nila alam eh. No? Uh, sila mahal. Yan, mga inabutan namin. But ang totoong star ngayong Pasko ay si Jesus Christ. Right? Because He is the light that gives hope. Amen? Palapakan natin si Lord. The true light which gives light to everyone was coming into the world. He was in the world and the world was made through Him. Yet the world did not know Him. He came to His own and His own people did not perceive Him. Here's, here's why we don't see this. Because we don't like the light. In a very, 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 very dark place. Di ba parang isipin mo naman, isipin mo na lang, bakit ba ayaw ng tao kay Jesus? Kasi dapat puno tayo every Sunday, bakit ayaw ng tao kay Jesus? Ayaw nila. Ayaw nila na ma-expose. Di ba sabi ko sa inyo, ma-expose. Ang dami kong babaguhin eh. Pag nakilala ko si Jesus, ang dami kong babaguhin. Nakakatakot yun. It's the same thing pag sobrang dilem, right? Tapos may nagbukas ng ilaw. Di ba nagugulat ka? Ah! 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 O A, ano? Ah! ah! Bakit ang sakit sa mata eh? So, ganun din, mga kapatid. Ayaw mong magpabago kay Jesus. Ayaw mong expose, i-illuminate. Kaya, okay, dito na lang ako. Yun yung totoo. Kaya yung mga tao kanina, totoo ba? I don't know who Jesus I don't know. It's just a person. I don't know. I don't know. Totoo bang hindi mo alam o nagmamaang-maangan ka lang? Because sinabi na ni John, no, we don't like this light. We don't, ah, ayoko nito. Kahit na it gives me hope, kahit na it separates the dark, I don't like this because it will expose so much in my life. Kaya ngayon yung charge natin for, for our anniversary, follow! Not the world, but Jesus. And it has a cost, my friend. May cost. But, to all who did receive Him, who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God, who were born not of the blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. Pero ikaw, tingin kayo dito, We'll talk about this week four, no? Messiah. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But if you're willing to trust the logos that gives you purpose, it will change your identity that you were not going to be born of the blood nor of the flesh anymore, not of the will of man anymore, but of God. How many of you want this? Your perspective will change. Your nature will change. Your finish line will change. Lahat po tayo, nakapila papuntang imperno. But if you're willing to receive Him, believe His name, you will become a child of God. This Christmas, number three, ito yung nangyari. The, this Logos became man. and dwelt among us. The Logos. Again, guys, ha, I don't know if this is sinking in. Ako, kinikilabutan. The Greeks were looking for the reason of things. Bakit may order? Bakit may umaga? Bakit may gabi? Bakit yung araw tumataas, bumababa? 
Bakit may gravity? Bakit may season? Merong nagpapaandar nito, sabi nila. May reason. May nagsimula nito lahat. They got it wrong though because inimbento nila yung mga gods. Sila, in their minds, inimbento nila. Sila Zeus, um, Athena, Zeus, Zinelas, Zapatas. Inimbento nila. They got it wrong. But they, they know that there is someone who made all of this. Now, ito yung pinakamatindi. This logos did not just stay up there. And this is why we're celebrating Christmas. This logos is not up there like Zeus waiting for us to make a mistake tapos papadala niya yung kanyang uh, thunderbolt. No. This logos actually came down and and dwelt among us. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have seen His glory, glory as of the only Son, from the Father, full of grace and full of truth. Nung ginawa po yung um, to, uh, Solomon's Temple, it was so great. It was so magarbo. It was extravagant. Right? It, it was... It, There is nothing compared to the tel- Solomon's Temple. Even up to now, the standards of how beautiful it is. And, and grabe talaga, sobrang ganda ng te- uh, Solomon's Temple. And kaya ginawa yung temple kasi ang gusto nila, bumaba ang Diyos at manahan sa templo. Ulitin ko lang, ano, kaya nag-ubos sila ng sobra, 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 sobrang daming pera dyan because uh, ang gusto nila, bumaba ang Diyos at manahan sa templo. Pero look, look at what Solomon said. But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold, heaven and the highest heaven cannot contain you, how much less this house that I have built. I'll call the keyboard this, we'll end here. Look at the sayangness. Look at how much they spent so much money, so much time. so much effort for them to experience God. Because that's what they want eh, na Lord, maranasan ka naman namin, maramdaman ka naman namin, kasi lagi ka lang nandyan sa taas. Hindi ka namin naiintin. So gumawa kami ng templo, pero after gawin yung templo, sabi ni Solomon, alam nyo guys, I don't think, oh, I don't think mananahan ng Diyos dito permanently. Sayang naman. Same thing with Moses, Exodus 33. Right? Sabi ni Moses, Lord, I, I want to see your face. You've been telling me to lead these people. And you, you yes, there's this pillar of cloud, there's pillar of fire. I, I love that. Pero I want to see your face. I want to see your glory, Lord. Sana naman kahit konti. So sabi ni, Jesus, sabi ni God sa kanya, sige, ganito gagawin ko, since, since kating-kating ka dyan, Okay, since G na G ka dyan, sige, ganito gawin ko. Punta ka sa mountain, tapos, dadaan ako. Pero tatakapan ko yung mata mo. Ha? Kasi mamamatay ka, pag nakita mo ko, hindi mo ko pwedeng makita. Tatakapan ko yung mata mo, pero makita mo yung likod ko. Okay? Pagdaan ko, ta- <laughs> nakakatawa, no? pero ang sweet ni God. Up, up! Parang sila, you will, sila, Olivia. Okay, close your eyes, close your eyes. Parang ginan niya si Moses, close your eyes, close your eyes. Open your eyes! tas likod na lang ni God. And, 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 and the Bible says that when Moses saw the back of God, it, his face became radiant. And it was enough for him. It was enough for him. Pero mga kapatid, ito nga yung beauty ng Christmas. Eh. And I hope again ah, that we will never ever take this for granted. Tayo, hindi lang templo. Tayo hindi lang likod. Tayo, we get to experience Jesus Christ as a person. Imagine if Moses is attending our service and Solomon and David and all of the Old Testament people saying, Guys, you should be going crazy now. Guys, we've been waiting for this. And it's available for us. That the Logos, the source, reason, and for every single thing became man. and dwelt among us. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which means God with 
us. Guys, yung nararamdaman mong kasama mong Diyos every single day, that is something that they have never experienced. In another translation, sabi doon, God became man and made His home in us. Tabernacled in us. Sino ba tayo para maging tahanan ng Diyos? Kasama mo ang Diyos. God with us. Kasama mo ang Diyos. This 2022. Kasama mo ang Diyos. Upcoming 2023. He will be with you. Again, the source, the power, the radiance of God became man. In Jesus Christ. Lord, thank you for today. Lord, I pray, Lord, na we, we've heard of this message. We've heard of John chapter 1 before. Pero I pray, Lord, na we'll not take it for granted. We pray, Lord, that we will fully, truly understand, embrace, and grasp thousands of years, Lord. They're waiting for the reason. Waiting for the order. Asking the question. Now we know the answer. You are the Logos. This Logos became man. Died for our sins. So that 2,021 years later, we have someone we can relate to. Sabi ng Hebrews, we do not have a high priest that doesn't understand what we're feeling. No, you understood. Because you lived this life. You became a human being just like us. Thank you, Lord. Week one pa lang, sob na kami. Ikaw, yung pinaka gift, the most important present that we can receive this Christmas, Lord. Lord, I pray and I hope that we'll have a wonderful Christmas. I pray for wonderful gifts. I pray that we will all receive gifts, Lord. But again, we will never ever forget that you are the ultimate present. Salamat, Lord. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you. May He be gracious to you. May He turn His face towards you and give you peace. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so much. Um, reminder lang po, get your, um, what you call that, wrist tags. Pwede po yan sa Star City. So, kuha ninyo na po. Try nyo lang kung hindi kayo huhulihin. No? Uh, regist- kahit hindi pa kayo naka-register, register pa kayo. We have um, a few slots left. So, registers na kayo. See you next Sunday.